All right, Troy, real quick in this video, we're about to hit 35 down. I'm on the push-ups, um, and that's going to be a total of about 630 reps. According to my math, 35 down, 630 reps. And, um, hell yeah, nice little nighttime routine, little before bedtime routine. And, um, hell yeah, so we're going to hit 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, all the way till we get down to one which will give us a total of 630 reps. So without further ado, let's get this shit started. <clears throat> for the first one let's get this shit as y'all can see i got something on my knees and shit i got a hard wood floor so something on my knees to make sure you know i hurt my shit um don't be so focused on your form i mean form is great but when you hitting like 500 or more push-ups and shit like that don't even worry about the push-up police telling you to go up go down as long as you're getting a good pump, you got a good medium range of motion, and then you're getting a good pump and you busting out those reps, um, you're gonna definitely get some mass going. Believe it or not, a lot of my muscle mass was built from push-ups, and I was hitting them bitches with a lot of reps and a lot of sets. So um don't let nobody fuck your workouts up, sit on their motherfucking couch, judging you from their motherfucking phone screens. And they can't even do the reps or the sets that you're doing. So, just wanted to say that real quick. We got 34 nicks. It's a nice little routine I like to do before bedtime and shit, you know, or if I like, if I like want to do like a lazy day or something like that, um, I'll just bust out 500 push-ups, 600 push-ups, you know, for me, push-up day is like a lazy day for me. If I don't feel like going like high reps or if I don't feel like hitting the weights, I'll bust out a couple sets of push-ups. 33 right here. Make sure y'all working at your own pace. Don't be trying to force this shit. Move at your own pace. I'm doing 35 down. Maybe you can do 20 down. Maybe you can do 15 down. If you're really just getting started, you might have to do 10 down. You feel me? Use the knee push-ups or something like that. But start off where y'all at and build yourselves up. Study two right here. It's funny though because the last video I uploaded on YouTube, I did um 400 dips and 160 pull-ups in less than 30 minutes, and I'm still sore as fuck from that. And that was a few days ago. I'm talking about like 
I'm sore as fuck, not even exaggerating. So I told myself I wouldn't even go work out today just because I was so fucking sore from doing that shit. I didn't expect for me to feel that shit the next day like I did, so, you know, but calisthenics is something you can, you can always do. If, uh, if you feel like you want a rest day, calisthenics is a good choice to still get that good pump without going too hard. Push-ups ain't gonna hurt you at all. Um, just thought you want right here. I can do push-ups all day though. Like I said, calisthenics is like my play, uh, like my playground. Push-ups, dips, all that shit. Pull-ups. Ooh. 30. Fuck it. I feel like I can do some more. 30. If you feeling that shit, if you advance, just bust them bitches up. Triceps burn from them dips like I was telling you all about. All this shit sore right here. All this shit sore. And my back triceps sore as fuck. So, I'll probably say for body weight exercises, i say dips is like your top tier body weight exercise when it comes to getting your chest, getting your chest gains up, so. Hell yeah, and it's real good for them triceps too. I say dips got my arm mass up. Your triceps is the biggest muscle on your arm, so you build up them triceps, you can get some big arms for sure. Whew, let's go. That's 29 right here. I can keep doing this shit, but you know, I'm gonna pace this shit. Take my time. I ain't drinking no water, no water breaks, no nothing. I ain't standing up. Shout out to my boy Boom Lumbus. Um, we was hitting push ups one day, hitting his, uh, hitting his push up routine, and bro guy was like, uh, don't stand up, stay, stay on your knees while you're doing push ups. So you can build your workout discipline. A lot of times we stand up, we get distracted, and we do some other shit. So shout out to my boy for that um for dropping that jewel. It's 28 right here. Fasted like a motherfucker. I ain't ate shit since, uh, what time is it? It's like 10 o'clock, 10 something. I ain't ate since what, six? I'm, that's what I like about like working out and build up a nice appetite. Um, like I said, I don't even like working out on a full stomach. Or if I ate a big meal, like the last thing I'm trying to do is work out. I want to wait at least two and a half, three, even four hours before I, um, before I uh, work out and shit, so, yeah, a good workout build up my, my appetite, so I'm gonna bang something real good, 
right after I get done with this set. So this 27 right here. <clears throat> Get it. Let's get this shit, man. Get these gangs going. Like I said, I've been building this shit up for the past two and a half years. And I started from 115 pounds, too. I'm like 160 right now, so I'm living proof if you stay consistent on anything in life. The results going to come. It might not be overnight. You feel me? It might not be in a week. It might not be in a few months. Sometimes not even a few years. But if you put in that work consistently enough and you look back on your journey, you will notice those results for sure. It's 26 right here. <clears throat> I need to move a lot of y'all. In a minute, I'm about to start busting these bitches out back to back. So that was 26 right there. This 25. So like I said, if you somebody that's advanced, you master the body weight uh, routines like push-ups, um, feel free to just bust them bitches out whenever you feel like it. Because sometimes you'd be hitting them bitches and then you just feel like you can do more. So that's how I'm feeling right now. 25. As y'all can see, my hands are shoulder width apart. That's like the most um, beneficial push-up because it's like even based. You're targeting your whole chest as opposed to doing like a, um, an elevated push-up with your feet on like a chair or something. You're working more of your upper chest. Or if you're doing diamonds, you're working more of your inner chest. Or like if you're doing dips and shit like that, you work on your lower chest, push it like the, the shoulder will push up. You're getting an even, you're getting an even all around chest workout. 24. Let's get it. And when I count my reps, I don't do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't count 11, 12, 13, 14. I don't do that. I do, I count up to 10. Then I bring it back down. So I count up to 10. I do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. And then I do whatever my remaining number is. So for an example, for my 23rd uh, set right here, for my 23rd, the number of reps that I got to do, I'm going to count out loud on how I count out my sets and shit. Because sometimes you just got to, you know, trick your mind into believing you're doing a lower number than what you're really doing. So this 23. I do like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, one, two, and three. It's like a play on your mind and shit like that. You know, if you just count out all them reps, your mind gonna just trick you into believing that you tired or it's too much. You gotta, you gotta find your unique way to manipulate yourself and hitting them high reps and them high sets. I was 23, like I said, I got that energy going, so we about to hit 22.
22. Fuck it, 21. We got this shit flowing. Right now, this one, this shit just get real easy for me. It's like a walk in the park at this point. I start busting them bitches out back to back. Sometimes I just stay in position and I just keep that shit going. Feeling this shit. Sweating a little bit. This shit build endurance too when you're doing a lot of high reps. You build muscle endurance for sure. A lot of guys can get in that gym and they can bench a lot of weight, but their muscle endurance don't really last that long when it comes to doing high reps and high sets and things like that. Which is cool, everybody have their own style of training. But me personally, I like to combine them both. I like the strength from the weights. I like the fundamentals from the calisthenics. So let's keep this shit going. We got 20 right here. I did more than 20, but like I said, I'll be in go mode. I'll be in go mode, so that's how I be. We got 19 for the next, uh, for my next set, it'll be the 19. I might bring that down to 19, 18, because like I said, I'm flowing, as you all can see. So we're going to hit 19, 18. Sometimes I like to slow it up like that. Y'all seen how I slowed it down for my last couple uh, my last couple reps. Sometimes I like to do it like that. Turn up for my last 10 reps, eight reps, five reps, however many reps. Slow it down. And uh, sometimes I do full range of motion. You know, once you get advanced with push-ups, you can kind of freestyle this shit. So that was 19, 18. I'm gonna do 17, 16. Let's go. Get it. 17, 16. We're gonna do 15, 14. Like I said, when them reps get, when the numbers get lower, I just knock them bitches down. It's 15, 14 right here. Got a good pump going in the chest. My shit's sore as fuck. I can't even flex for real. But no pain, no fucking gain, man. I want y'all to get used to uh, feeling discomfort or feeling some type of pain in your life. Because pain is here for a reason. Pain is your best friend if you let it be. Only reason why I say that is because through the pain, through the struggle, through the adversity, it brings out a beast inside of you that you ain't even know existed. So embrace that shit. It's 15, 14 right here.
But we brought that down to 13. So that was 15, 14, 13. We brought that shit down to 13. Like I said, sometimes when you just flowing like that, bust them bitches out. Bust them bitches on up. 15, 14, 13, so we got 12, 12 down to go. I might bring it down to zero. I might bring it down to zero. 12 down, let's go. Like I said, man, y'all work at y'all own pace. Wherever, wherever number you want to start at, start at that number and build yourself up. 12 down, let's go. Slow going. Got a real good flow going. Like I said, my triceps stalled right now. Let's get it though. Like I said, through adversity, we're gonna grow. We put in the pain for this shit. Put in that motherfucking pain. Just eight down. This might be a rep right here. We might go ahead and knock all this shit out. Let's get it, y'all. 630 push-ups. But when you're doing so many reps and you're doing so many sets, sometimes you might miss a number. You might miss, you might miss a set or you might miss a rep. So for my mental sanity and for me to not feel like I cheated myself, I'm going to bust out another 50 just to make sure all my numbers is everything. Cause I could have missed the set. I could have missed the number. You feel me? I could have miscounted. So, you know, I'm gonna hit uh, 50 straight to pay all my dues to anything that I might have missed. Take me a little breather real quick. <sighs> We're gonna bust out this 50 ball. And I salute to everybody that work out, man. Much love to everybody that's working out. I don't give a fuck if you got a gym membership. I don't give a fuck if you in a basement. I don't give a fuck if you in your room, in your living room, in the house. You feel me? You going for a walk, you going for a jog, you riding your bicycle. Anything you doing that's keeping yourself healthy, I salute it and I respect it. All right, so let me knock out this 50. Just to make sure everything is everything. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. 
50. Just some more, just in case we cheated anything. <laughs> All right, y'all, subscribe to the channel. Much love for everybody that tuned in with me, who watched me bust out this routine. That was 35 down on the push-ups. Much love to all my bros down the road who in that, who in that cell hitting them push-ups and taking care of their bodies. Because when you in that motherfucking jail cell, ain't shit else but you to do except some push-ups, pull-ups, and dips. So, you all subscribe to the channel. Much love. And I'll see you all on the next workout. Let's get it.